Belfast is the new Kenneth Branagh um, film that uh, got a limited release in theaters. And uh, my theater just started showing it. You know what's funny is, uh, you know, I worked at theater. So every time I go into work, I see this theater, this poster for this movie, Belfast. And it's, um, it's literally in our lobby and it says November 12th, the film release. So I look up, where is this film playing? Oh, nowhere in the town I, I live in. Now, you know how many theaters are in my town? Five. So, I'll tell you this. Whenever there's a film that I usually can't see at one theater, there's usually another theater showing it, unless it's like um, like a couple random movies. Like, I remember The Farewell. That was a movie I really wanted to see that when that movie came out, the A24 movie. I uh, couldn't see it within 200 miles of where I lived. <laughs> but, you know, besides those rare exec, uh, exceptions, I usually get movies. Um, so it was weird we had a poster for this in our lobby. Like, when are we going to get this? And then it finally came Thanksgiving week. Well, you don't think what came out Thanksgiving week? Oh, a new Disney animated movie. Oh, House of Gucci. Oh, Resident Evil. So I had four new movies that I was trying to catch within that week. I just saw the Disney one, and now I'm going to try and get to see House of Gucci and uh, Resident Evil. I'm not sure when I'll be able to do those two, but I'm trying to get out and see those ones, which uh, I'm excited for. I think they look really good. Um, or not necessarily Resident Evil, but House of Gucci definitely looks really good. But, you know, I'll talk about those when we get to them. But, uh, yeah, I saw Belfast. I thought it was great. Um not as good as I was hearing people say. Uh, there was a, I saw a lot of talk of this getting Best Picture, which I think the way the Academy works, yes, this movie could get Best Picture. Do I think that this deserves it? Possibly. Um, I don't really know of any films that I could think of that deserves some kind of a nomination over it to win the best picture, you know, like, like my argument is that there are films I like better, but in terms of like, you know, objective quality, I don't know if they're better than th like this film. This is good. It was a really good movie. Um, it's about this kid, you know, who's growing up through during the, you know the event in history involving Belfast and the Catholics and things like that. You look up all the history about that, and. Uh, one thing I, I was a little annoyed about this film is it didn't do a good job of explaining this event in history at all, which I don't think it was this, jo this film's job to do, but as someone who didn't like understand the story of this film, or not the film, but that the event in history was going into this movie, made me like, Okay, I know there's a conflict going on, but I don't understand. But also, I think that added to the effect of this film. Because a lot of this film is the kid's perspective, and the kid doesn't understand a lot of these adult conflicts. It made me think of like a film like Jojo Rabbit, though obviously not as comedic as that film. In fact, not comedic at all. This is not a comedic film. Uh, that's a comedy. It's a satire, right? But this is not that. This is not a satire. This is, this is a straightforward movie. Um, and you, and it, it really was beautiful. Um, the story and the characters and, and, you know, kind of what they were going through in this event in history. Um, and, you know, there are just struggles to survive, uh, with this. It, you know, it was a good film. It was heartwarming, you know, enjoyable, but it was like, it's kind of really all it was. And, you know, the way I was hearing people talk about it, I was like, kind of expect a bit more, but I didn't really get that. And that's not a fault of this film, but it's just like, oh. And I think if you see this one near you, it's definitely worth a watch, you know. Especially since this is the one that might win Best Picture. And I believe, um, I believe any film that could or, or, or is possible to win Best Picture is at least worth one watch, unless your name is Green Book. We do not talk about Green Book on this channel. But we do talk Belfast. I don't know where I was going with that. But, yeah, I enjoyed this film. Uh, yeah, not one of my favorites of the year. But, you know, I will say, well, actually, I don't know if I want to not say it's my favorites. But it could go up. 
I think it might go up. Um, it might go up to number 10. I don't know. Um, I have a favorites list I'm working on. It. And it's a lot of movies uh, to keep track of. Because usually in a year I only have a top 5. But this year I saw so many movies that now I have about top 10. Possibly top 20. So I don't know. But yeah, great movie. Highly recommend it. Um, go check it out.